Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and here's another painting. This one is a 15 by 30 uh, inch gallery wrap canvas. I flooded it with my White House paint that's mixed with a bit of Floetrol and some water. Uh, I put it on relatively thinly today, because yesterday I put a big puddle for the open cup, and it was way too much paint. So I'm just, my paints are mixed with Floetrol and a little bit of water and some Liquitex pouring medium, just a squirt to give it a good consistency. Now I'm giving the Artist Loft pre-mixed paints another try, but I have added Floetrol to them to give them a little bit more body. I found them a little bit runny and I've added silicone to two colors, to the silver and there is a sort of an olivey green gold. I added just a drop of silicone to each, just to get a little bit more interest in the paint. I forgot to mention, of course, my copper is in this. I think most paintings require some copper. So I've, I've let the paint seep very slowly out of the open cup as I move it across the canvas and it's deposited the paint in a, a pretty way. There's some layers, there's some pretty cells that are appearing. I'm going to tilt it, spread the paint out a bit more. Uh, I think it's going to need more paint on the canvas. I love my white negative space, but that's an awful lot of white negative space. So I, I play with it a little bit with the palette knife, a few smears, and then I'm going to make a small cup, a small shot glass layered to do sort of a flip and drag. And that will add another element to sort of the empty end of this canvas. Here comes the little layered flip cup, which I drag about a bit and deposit the paint. And you'll see that the colored paint is sitting, a lot of it is sitting underneath the White House paint. That's okay. I drag the cup through, sort of do a flip and lip, and make a little bit of patterning in there. And then I'm going to take my palette knife, and you'll see as I do the schmear, I, I reveal some of the paint that's under the white. And the combination of the white on top and the color peeking through is actually quite pleasing in this composition. It's always tricky when you've added paint at different times onto a canvas uh, because as I'm tilting for the second cup, I'm also moving the paint from the first cup. And I don't want to lose some of the composition that I've got on that first section on the right hand side. So it is a bit tricky. Now I decided to put a little more paint in where the white is covering a little bit too much and just a little bit, a couple of layers of some color and I drag it through just for a little more interest.
been playing with it for a bit, stretching it, a few schmears. I'm quite happy with the composition, just touching it up, adding little bits and pieces. And it's about this time that I usually sit down and look at it for a while and see what else I might want to do to it. And uh, I, I'm just playing a little, doing some little final touches to it. I think it's looking quite good. I'm happy with the composition. So I go to sit down and I abruptly find out the chair is not there. As you'll see, I go down and fortunately I don't take the painting with me. But it was a close call. There I go. Okay, so I take a few seconds and I get up and I wave goodbye to you all. So I had a hot soak and a glass of wine and here are some close-up bits of this piece. You can see much better the patterning. It's, it's an interesting piece and I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, there are some creatures, some eyes, I love the movement and the color. So actually, all in all, I'm really very pleased with this piece. And thank you for watching. I am about 12 people away from having a thousand subscribers, which I never thought would happen. And so if you haven't subscribed, please do. And then I can say I hit a thousand for what that's worth. And actually, it's sort of neat. And thank you. I hope I inspired you to try this technique. It's fun. Once you have your consistency right, you're, you're all set to go. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you from Gail Burston, Life in Splatters. I have to say, I do love all the pretty bits.